Today I'd like to talk about the scramble for Africa, which occurred in approximately 1885. But before we do that, we need to talk about significant change that occurred prior to 1885. And first of all, we're going to talk about the Paleolithic era. And this was the era from 2 million BC all the way up until 10,000 BC. And then in 2000 BC, something happened called the Neolithic Revolution. All right, the Neolithic Revolution was the change from hunter-gatherer lifestyle to a agricultural lifestyle where people lived in permanent settlements. The next significant change that occurred was in 1492, and it was called the Columbian Exchange. This was when the New World met the Old World, or the Old World met the New World, and disease, animals, and plants changed from the Old World to the New World, or diffused. All right, in 1780, the Industrial Revolution occurred, or began. We haven't talked about that yet. We will get to that in the next lesson. But right now we're going to talk about 1885. What occurred in 1885? Uh, common Era. And that was the scramble for Africa. All right, that was when European countries started to colonize and imperialize the countries of Africa. So that's what we are going to talk about today. All right, let's talk about the vocabulary you're going to need to know when you talk about the scramble for Africa. And the first two words you're going to need to know are colonialism and imperialism. And they're essentially the same. And they basically say that a country exerts control or influence over a foreign country or territory. The next word you're going to need to know is mercantilism. Mercantilism is an economic theory that states that a country must import from foreign territories. Alright, exploitation. The last word is exploitation. Exploitation is selfish use of resources. Alright, so you don't care about what happens to the country that you're using the resources from. All you care about is what happens for you. You're exploiting them. Alright, here is a political cartoon of the mad scramble for Africa. So what is the mad scramble for Africa? All it is is European countries vying or fighting for control of African territory. So why would European countries want to have control of African territories or resources? Well the simple answer is money. And in this case money meant natural resources. So Africa had natural resources that Europe wanted for the Industrial Revolution. You got to remember, and we haven't talked about this yet, so of course you can't remember, but Europe was in the midst of the Industrial Revolution. Because Europe was in the midst of the Industrial Revolution, they were in need of natural resources. So they all wanted natural resources. So in 1885, they set up the Berlin Conference. And the Berlin Conference was a meeting where European countries met and they decided to split up African territories amongst themselves. And of course, the only people not present at this meeting were African countries. So that doesn't make any sense at all, but that's how it went down. European countries split up Africa without any input at all from African countries. And this was all again for their natural resources. They wanted to exploit their natural resources and they wanted to import them back to the European countries. All part of their economic system of mercantilism again. Alright, so let's talk about the effects of decolonization. So what is decolonization? That is when the colonizing powers of Europe, the imperialistic powers of Europe, left. Alright, and this happened after World War II to make a long story short. And we need to know what the impact, what effect it had. And the impact was largely negative. It was not good. Why wasn't it good? Basically because Europe did not care. Europe left carelessly. The new boundaries or borders were based on old colonial boundaries. Well, what was the problem with this? Europe left, they left the boundaries the same, so what was the problem? Well, the problem was these boundaries often included two or more ethnic groups that were opposed to each other. 
And of course, this led to conflict. Lots of conflict. <laughs>